Hello, this is Clarice Mast, the Brazilian one. And today we are doing cookies for Easter. It's a molasses cookie that is very easy to do and very practical because you can leave the dough at the refrigerator for a day. So let's see how to do these tasty cookies. So I have here three cups of flour and I will spice my flour and I will leave the recipe on the box. I have here cinnamon, ginger, orange zest and gloves and I will put it here on my flour. Now I will put my baking soda and baking powder and a little bit of salt. I will mix it. I will mix it very well. I will beat a egg. You can do these cookies um, by hand, but in the machine is much quicker and easier. My oil. and half a cup of molasses. I like to grease my uh, cup before I put molasses or uh, honey because then it's very easy to all came out and I don't lose a drop. So I will mix a little bit. When it is well blended, I start to put my flour. When you put almost all your flour, you start to do little by little because you never know how much flour we will need. Maybe you not use it all, and maybe you need a little bit more. I didn't need all my flour. I think I have here a quarter of cup left over, but it is okay. When you get to this, um, consistence, you can stop putting a flour. It's a, a dough that you can uh, play with very easily. So you be careful to not put too much flour. Now we will cover it or you can put in a plastic bag and put in a refrigerator for at least one hour or until next day. So just make it, it easier to work with and very practical. So I will put my dough in a ziplock. So I will take to the refrigerator for one hour at least and I come back to finish. If you don't want to have this leftover flour here, you can put all the spice in your wet ingredients. So I have here my dough that has been resting at the refrigerator for one hour. You can leave it at the refrigerator for 24 hours. And now we start to shape them to bake. Let's go. I will put my dough in a plate. You start to make like a little ball and then you shape like a little egg. Something like this. Look. And I will put it here in my cookie sheet to bake. I put a little bit of grease. And I already have my oven get warm on 350 degrees.
and I will continue to shape my little cookies and I come back to show you what is the next step. If your dough is too hard, you just work a little bit with your hands that will get soft with the warmth of your hand. And I will continue doing and I come back. So here I have all done. I will take it to the oven and I come back in a few minutes. My cookies are done. It was 12 minutes at the oven and they cracked and they are beautiful. And now you put them in a powdered sugar. I you put like half of them in the powdered sugar because I have some friends that they don't like with the sugar. So I got those and I put in the sugar. Look at how beautiful they are. They are very crispy because they just came out of the oven. When you store them, they, they will be soft. You can store them in any airtight container. Look at how beautiful they are. They really look like uh, chocolate little eggs. So let's try these cookies to see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. They are heavenly. All these spices together really, really taste good. And they are so cute and very easy and quickly to do. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. So, subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Happy Easter. Bye.